What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the previous video or maybe didn't because you couldn't get that KJ started. In this video, we will get this KJ started. I've got an alternative way how to start this engine eventually. So I ordered something from Take A Lot for you guys in USA that's the same as Amazon on this side. So let me show you guys what I've been through the last few days off camera just to see if I can maybe bypass the immobilizer on the KJ and if you've got the same issue eventually I can show you the solution right now so this is your skim unit sentry key immobilizer module so I took it apart to see what's going on in here and if I can bypass some of these pins but because it's got this chipset and that chipset you can't bypass it and this is the little frequency from your key. It works on this on a certain hertz. And um, somewhere it is actually noted what the hertz are. Right here, this one is 134 kilohertz. Okay, so that aside, I'm not going to use that. Chuck it. What do I do? This. Yeah, it says phony. <laughs> Anyways, one click start, remote start, and like this little flap says, say goodbye to mechanical keys and enjoy this smart life. Cool. So when you open up the package, you get your little RFID scanner. This is actually quite big to compare it to your skin module. This is this scanner, so it's quite big. Okay. The low control module with your RFID tags you have to take off. Not something special really. Your push start button. And to be honest, the quality if if I miss if I press this on the side, you can feel like yeah the quality is not that great. But it's cheap anyways. Some wiring, it's wiring for your brake pedal, and then the funny instructions. Yeah, this instruction is not really clear, like saying To the electric line in second gear of ignition switch and power off at starting instant To the electric line in first gear of ignition switch the radio and navigation can use To the yellow line of the start gear of ignition switch and power at on at starting instant To the electric line in second gear of ignition switch and power on at starting instant yeah, so uh, this arming and arming mode transponder gets close to the Lupertina sound beep beep. So yeah guys, so we're going to try this. So let me show you what's going on inside the Jeep. So I've got some lights, I've got both multimeters lying everywhere and I took this panel off. I checked out my keys, ignition systems, I've got some wiring. I've even spliced into a lot of the wiring here to see what happens when I actually turn the keys and whatever. So, yeah, I've been busy. This is what's happening in the engine bay. I've bypassed some wires, my wires. So these wires will eventually tap right into the key itself. I'm not going to use the whole fuse box anymore like I wanted to in the beginning. This is all to just make it simple and fault finding, etc, etc. So, yeah, guys. We're going to try again and I'll catch you guys in a minute. Okay guys, small little update for me. I uh, had to go and buy some fuel pops for the return line. With some fittings. And then also, what I just got, I've managed to get prop shaft. So note, this is a temporary prop shaft. 
reason why it's a bit too short 200 millimeters too short and I'm just going to cut it weld a little piece in and uh, the reason for this is to just move the Jeep in and out I'm not going to be driving it like this it's dangerous just be with me with that then also you can see some wiring mess going on here got a new battery some more wiring mess right inside the Jeep with my start button so far this seems like it will work and I promise you guys I won't publish this video if this Jeep is not starting so we've got a lot to do in this video I actually want to also run the wires from my old door into this new door so I can turn up the window because rain season is uh, around the corner from us and this window has got a little bit of a gap here at the top so I just want to close it up I've got a lot to do so let's get cracking Okay, so what I'm busy doing here is I've got this connector for the return line with two proper washers and this connector is going into my fuel tank for the return line back from the engine. So I'm going to make a little hole here, it's easy accessible and uh, just a caution don't use any power tools that create spark near a fuel tank this one's got a little bit of fuel in it so I'm going to be very careful so I'm just going to make a hole and then run my pipelines cable tight underneath all the way to the engine my fuel line pulled throughout the jeep and uh, it's going good it's looking good so all i have to do now is just turn to my return line here so i'm just going to cut it to length Now that I've got my fuel lines hooked up, my fuel return is on, my main line is on, I've even hooked up my EVAP system uh, from the Jeep's EVAP and then also a vacuum line. So my other vacuum line is on. All that's left to do now is clean up this wiring. So this wiring is to bypass the standard immobilizer. I'm going to have to run it through that little hole right there so I'm going to have to make a hole I'm also going to have to somehow open up my cubby hole because it doesn't want to open up and then run the wires all the way right through to here so this is the control module it's hooked up and I still have to hook up my accessories 
as you guys can see I've done a little bit of wiring and uh, yeah so let's get this uh, done and then we can start up Okay guys, so we're ready for the startup. I've sorted out the wires. I still have to just connect my battery. There's a random bolt. So let's close up the fuse box. And this is working now. So I've got my ECU just hanging around. I still need to make a bracket and I've got the other fuse box. This wire still needs to go to the alternator. That we will do later on. So let's connect the power. You can hear this power. And then on the inside, I clean up a bit. Clean up all these wires on the inside. I'll probably mount my start button here in the center console. It's going to look pretty nice. Not sure where yet. And this is to arm and this arm. So I pull this, now it's disarmed. Then this button should now turn on accessories, which I don't have. Next button is ignition. But it won't start the Jeep because you have to press in your brake as well. So let's start it. Okay, just to show you guys what I've done, I've tidied up all of these parts. I'm not going to put my copy back just yet because I've got a broken one. Then I've also wired in this door, so my window is now officially working. So that window. Something's wrong with it. I'm not sure yet what's happening there, but I'll figure it out. And the rear windows are not working at all. So I think that might just be a fuse. Thank you all for watching. That's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I can't shoot outside. The wind is blowing like crazy. It's August and August is just windy all the time. So I must get a mic for this GoPro. I feel I made some progress in this video, I started this Jeep up, so if you do like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button, and then also make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, or click on the icon and you can just subscribe from there. So guys, thank you all for the love and support, please follow me on Instagram for inside scoops.
Also share this video with all your friends and family. We are growing at a good pace now and I would like to keep it that way. So guys, keep safe. Cheers.